What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome to a new game. We're checking out something new, something different, something very early access. But it looks cool, it looks interesting. It looks like it's a mix between like uh maybe like satisfactory and like like a seven days to die-ish kind of thing. So we're gonna take a peek. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. I'll have a link down below. This game is currently not out, it's supposed to go into early access mid-February, so that could be any day now, maybe. I don't know, but I'll have a link down below. You can wish list it all the fun things no idea what the price is gonna be but let's hop in to a new thing so new game survival create so this is kind of where it looks like um it looks very seven days to die-esque because it's like a barren wasteland but i think our enemies are different i don't think our enemies are like zombies i think i think they're robots if i'm not mistaken holy moly we'd run super fast all right so uh mechanica very early access there is more content to come and bugs are to be expected so keep that in mind if I run into a bug, this is a super early access. All right. Press your interact key when hovering over these objects in the programming menu. Click and drag from one object to another to link them. Right click to search for functions or click and drag functions from here. So there's a little bit of programming, little bit of base. Well, base building, programming, survival, all the fun stuff. We had food, we had water, we have food, we have water and we have health. Uh, you can also right click these execute pins to manually run the function click and drag between the pins connect we'll get into it once we get into it all right let's pick up this thing press e to pick up the programming tool <gasps> look at that we did it do we have an inventory okay good it's tab Whew, i was a little worried wow i don't have like any resources <laughs> all right so i guess we're starting hold and right click to pick up placed objects linking Okay, that's already linked. Interact. Oh my gosh, we're already starting the programming menu. Event listener. On button push. Run. If true, execute. Open inwards. Okay. So I think we push the button. Oh god. <laughs> Wait. Uh, hold right click to delete. Uh, no goodness. Press E to program. Right click and drag the link. What? Hold right click to pick up placed objects. Hey, we picked it up. Okay, how do, how do I open the door? Can I can I open the door? Oh, we just had to take the tool out of our hand. <laughs> All right, so there's no scroll wheel function, so you actually have to like do this stuff. That's not terrible though. All right, so we're out here in the wilderness. What do we have? I have no idea. Oh, we look like we run superly fast though. <gasps> what do we got over here? A furnace. On, off. Okay. Uh, what is this guy? On. Press E to turn him off. Oh, it's auto mining. Oh, what is this? Iron ore. Ha <laughs> ha, we found some iron ore. Wait, so does that have to do, it has to go all the way back up and then it goes, it, and it goes poop. <laughs> it just poops it out. I love it. Wait, okay, so hold on. Uh, if I go back to this, Pick up the furnace. Oh, what are these? Batteries? Probably batteries. Hold on. No, out of here. Pick up, okay. Uh, let's see. So I wanna place the furnace right here, right? Can I rotate it? Oh, I can indeed. So if I place it like, hold on, let's, let's pick up that guy. And let's pick up this guy. And put it like right there. Okay. Insert battery, insert battery. Oh, ho, ho, ho! we have begun the automation process. Wait, can I, um? Can I like drop these into here? Is there is there a drop? No. Q? Tab. No. Tab? Inventory? Maybe? Press E to drop object? Hey! hey! <gasps> and then it poops about right here. Oh, right there. Drop two words below. <gasps> That's cool. All right, we're gonna let that go. I don't know. We're, we're just gonna let it happen. What's this? <gasps> we got a pickaxe. Wait, so I can mine stuff myself? But you actually have to click individually. Oh, so we can do a little, a little bit of mining. Oh, it is. There is a limit on how much you can actually actually do with stuff here. Okay, so can I? Uh, looks like you can't you can't drop from your inventory. Again, super early. Boop boop. Throw those in there. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, what's in the crate? I don't know what the crate's for. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna let this guy run and let it let it do its thing. I don't know how long batteries last for. Maybe right now they're infinite. That'd be great. I'd like infinite power. I like infinite power sources. Uh, okay, so we have a gas place over here. Um, oh, what was that sound? 
Oh, that's an enemy. That's an enemy. Pick up the axe. Okay, so there's no kind of tutorial or anything like that right now yet. Uh, can we attack with this? Let's go for it. I'm gonna get you. Wait. Oh. He's not. He's scared of me. Oh, okay. Well, you can you be scared of me then, man. You be scared. Ooh, a baseball bat. Wait, are you gonna be nice? I have a feeling once we. Oh, not nice. Ow! What? He was a bad, stupid robot. You're a bad robot. No. What happened? Oh my gosh. Oh, sealing it. If I get any other pieces, I feel like there's a battery in here. Oh, what's that? We'll sprocket. That guy was a jerk. Wait, so what if I put on an axe? Okay, no harvesting capabilities from those guys. Oh, we have a deal right there. Oh my gosh, that guy already came after us. Is there anything else in here? No, but guess what? I think we found a base place, people. Oh, oh, oh I think we found a base place. A uh, cooking station, storage box. Oh, wonderful. Glass, water, battery. That, let's put the steel ingot in here. Oh, this is going to be our base place for sure. Absolutely. Why wouldn't we have this here? Can I? Okay, there's no like harvesting of resources. Let's go. Oh, hold on. What's this? Glass refinery. Wait, so, okay. Turn it on. It has no power source. So does that just pick up sand and turn it into glass? Let's grab these batteries out of here. Uh oh. Oh, wait a second. I can seriously just press E and it throws it right in. What? That's epic. I like that. That's cool. It automatically collects automatically. All right. Uh, insert battery. Progress. Well, that's refinery. I guess it just wait. Hold on a second. Where's the output? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Output's right there. Ooh, we need these to go into storage deals. Can we make stuff crafting? Oh, we can. <laughs> All right, decoration, display, storage, manufacturing. That's what I want to do. I want some I want some manufacturing kind of stuff going on here. I'm not sure if everything is available in this type of uh, build. Oh, foundations, doors, glasses. Wait, hold on. What's the armored door take? Screws, steel ingot, and glass. <gasps> That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Defensive doorway, wall, 10 steel, two of those. Foundation, stairs, defenses. We have some defenses. We have a rake trap, a knife thrower, laser sword, flamethrower set. Oh my God. EMP bomb, a Tesla coil. I want a Tesla coil. I want that. Okay. And we have button switch. For, okay, cool. Things are going well. Oh my. Does that make it faster? No, it does not. Okay. Um, I, this is all fine and dandy, but I got to figure out the whole, the whole, okay. Turn that on. What does this do? Is this the watery machine? Water pump. Yeah. Oh, see the sand is like wet looking. Output. Do I need a, a a bottle? Is there a bottle? Do I need to put like an empty bottle? Oh, there's giant wind turbines over there. Oh, that's super cool. All right. So let's go in here. Uh, we have water. Let's consume one and let's see what we end up with here. Do we end up with an empty bottle? Okay. Check inventories. No, no. Okay. So let's just produce the bottle. All right. So we'll let that do its thing. Uh, well, we're going to need some, we're going to need some coppery goodness here shortly. What's this? Is this copper? I think this is copper, guys. Guys, I think this is copper. Let's see. What do we got here? Is that copper ore? Yes, indeed it is. Oh, indeed it is. What's down here? Let's just keep looking. Let's explore. Uh, it's about to be dark. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Maybe we shouldn't be out right now. We probably shouldn't be out right now. <laughs> let's, let's go back. Let's fortify our base place a little bit here just in case we come under attack i don't want to come under attack yet but we might uh we'll let these things run i guess we gotta kind of figure out what we need to do in order to like protect ourselves um let's see oh my i have no stamina okay uh looks like we have a bunch of steel ingots oh that is wonderful now do we have any kind of weight or anything it doesn't look like it oh our batteries are almost dead oh we got to get this stuff figured out quick with the quickness we must be wait a second is this a crop plot <gasps> harvest wheat oh harvest wheat harvest wheat hold on how uh can i plant these <gasps> wheat seeds uh okay all right devs 
if you're listening, can you uh, can you add the scroll wheel function functionality to the uh, to the inventory stuff? Like that'd be <laughs> be most fantastic. Oh, uh, okay. So let's just get all these planted, right? Can I, can I squeeze in a couple more? Oh, I can get one in here for sure. One there. No, not another one. Darn it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, do these not have? Do we have a crouch ability? Is there no windows in these? Oh, there's no windows, guys. Wait, so hold on a second. Is there a... Uh, let me look at my... Let me... Hold on. Let me check my player... Align to player disabled. Rotate 45. Precision rotates Q and E. Oh. All right, let me look at my controls real quick. All right, so it looks like drop equipped item is G, interact is E. All kind of standard things. So it looks like I might need to just kind of put some of these is there a oh wow just holding shift uses my stamina can i like drop nope okay so it's a drag and drop deal that's fine um we could probably put some stuff in storage i want to interact oh look at that we got a light how cool is that okay crafting uh enough with that buildings barricades that's what we need we need a glass window six glass oh my gosh that's expensive do we have any kind of door, door frames? We have 14 steel ingots, two screws. Hmm. That seems a bit excessive. Metal window cover. A reinforced metal window cover to make it clear you're not interested in visitors. <laughs> Let's try to do that. Okay, some, some components here. One, two. Okay, that's easy. I mean, that was easy enough. Buildings barricades. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Hold control to ignore snapping. <gasps> yeah awesome all right oh hold on a second how do we how do we connect this to those we need to connect that to those we need to put a door we need some doors we need some bars we need a whole bunch of stuff oh my goodness this is exciting i love i love new crafting explorational survival games they're they're absolutely fantastic okay so we need more of that let me, let me see if I can't make some more of those and get get some things like secured here. All right, so I can't I can't craft a whole lot of anything. Oh, geez, that is way, <laughs> that is way too big. I was thinking that was gonna go right there. That is most definitely not gonna go right there. We could put it on the outside though, or we could put it right on the inside. Should we put it right on the inside and just make it look terrible? Now nah, let's put it on the outside. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we'll have a a nice safe a nice safe deal. That right there. Look at that minimal space fantastic now i just need a door and hopefully the door doesn't hit i think it'll be fine i think it'll be fine but i need more metal and i'm hoping this thing is just cranking out the metal it's probably not i need one more one more smelting deal and we can have a door fantastic but i need another door because we have multiple ways in now i don't know if things come out at night or if the robots you just like as you explore it and find more stuff if that's where they're going to like uh you know that's that's where they're gonna get you that's where they're gonna get you so i'm not actually positive um boop fantastic now is there actually glass in here i don't i don't know if there's actually glass in there and i'm a little worried that there that there's not uh i can't see it and my guess is that if there was glass it'd be semi-translucent like that but i could be completely wrong i think i think the window covers might be our best bet and we need to get another door in right here just to just to be safe let's go and turn this light on i don't know where this light's running power off of though hmm oh let's open up our cookie menu here uh baked potato raw potato loaf of bread two wheat uh let's make let's make those and let's eat one how much does that help our hunger oh that helped quite a bit oh good we can do farming stuff one sas factory we can farm on here where's uh where's your farming at <laughs> all right uh so that's cool i think i'm gonna let things run for a little bit and we'll come back and we'll build some more stuff all right so i'm playing with i'm playing with some of the programming stuff super basic stuff but it's actually not too bad so i went ahead and i connected these lights up to here basically just grabbing this tool and i'm saying that hey i want these two switches to also affect those lights now i did this already but you have to make sure this the the switch is currently in the state that you want the uh the other lights so like i had this light on and those were off and then when i had it hooked up i hit the switch those would turn on this would turn off and that's what we want we want all lights on at the same time so i went ahead and turned the switch off but now you can see you have the linked objects so uh i have two lights and i just want a toggle command pretty much i'll bring this guy right over there 
that's the first light and then the second light i want a little toggle command boop like that and a drag and a drop like a so and if everything's right we should be able to hit the switch <gasps> Ta -da! let there be light <laughs> i'd love it oh this is super cool oh there's a building over there you know the fov is like super far like when i look this way like the things on the side of the screen are much closer than they are when i look at them oh no oh no they're here they're here who oh, do i have this stuff oh no they came for me are they gonna go through the windows no they're gonna go through the back door oh shoot oh no they're totally here <laughs> bad 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 got him get him okay time to leave open the door <laughs> oh my god die go 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 oh my gosh this guy's they're super strong they're enraged okay we got one. Oh my gosh i heard him i heard him come from they have like a bus off our hand this is terrifying forget the zombies these evil ai robots i wonder if i can like take control of one and make it my best friend oh my gosh that was horrible uh yeah i'll take that and that battery thank you i can't do anything with those Is there any more oh man uh and i bet you i bet you anything that if you have a door in the way i bet they start damaging it and that's why there's like defenses do you not have a do you not have a battery for me man i don't see one hmm all right well there's probably laying there maybe once uh the robots despawn because the other one despawns so maybe once those robots despawn then uh we'll be good all right Whew. so they cannot go through the windows that's good but we need to get some defense you know what we could do we could make this a trap hold on a second what do i need for defenses oh gosh i need a whole bunch of stuff so what's the easiest one the rake trap probably four ceiling gets one screw two copper wire and one battery <laughs> you know those cartoons where someone steps on the end of a rake and he gets smacked in the face this is like that except with knives <laughs> i like it so we'll probably start off with something like that knife thrower laser sword quickly deploys and swings a laser beam in 180 degree arc damaging any robot or human that makes contact it has a three second cooldown that actually sounds much cooler and if we put like a couple of them in here you know but that means we can't use this room but then they would all funnel through here and guess what now we <laughs> we essentially made ourselves a turret defense game i like that i really like that we might do that okay hoping that everything's good let's go run over here i bet you the furnace is out of fuel or not fuel out of battery is it out of battery oh no it's on the second battery now okay cool and let's grab up all this stuff and we need to actually make a, another mining deal for the copper because we're gonna need some copper wire but i don't want to take that one off because we're gonna need that one as well wow it takes a very long time for water to be processed <laughs> holy moly all right so we need a mining deal what's this thing what are you open box oh batteries that was free batteries a little bit of looting there that is fantastic oh i want to go explore i want to see everything but i don't feel like we're ready we're not ready yet i feel like there's do we have any armor or anything like that yet i don't i don't think that's a i don't know if that's a thing for us yet uh oh oh darn it the door won't open from this side <laughs> oh that could be a small issue that could be a small issue we have to open it from the inside so note to self don't shut the door behind us yeah we'll be fine oh no you've got to be kidding me there's more there's another one over there i heard it i heard it coming it's way over there maybe during the day they're not so hostile maybe it's not coming it doesn't look like it, it looks like it's leaving okay all right so we might be okay for now Woo. and i don't know if there's a is there a med kit or anything motion sensors components decoration crafting oh dang it i went <laughs> i went out the door and i didn't hit the button uh we might need to get that hooked up to a button a crafty station uh does this taste snack 45 points of hunger and five points of water blueberries Ooh, that would be fantastic 
potato bread. I wonder if there's blueberries in the game yet. I don't know. We'll probably have to go loot and find them. There's more content to come. Okay, more. Good, 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 good. All right. So I was thinking about it, and I don't think we're going to be able to craft another one of these for a while. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to pick up. We're actually going to pick up this guy and move it over to the copper stuff. So I can get some more copper stuff going. Um, I have like, what's my inventory? I have 22 steel ingots. That's not a lot by any means, but I can't really make another one right now. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And then are you crafting? Are you processing? I don't think so. All right. So let's go ahead and turn this guy off as well. And then let's pick these up. Can I not pick this up? I can pick this up. Do I have to use this? No. Oh, you have to click it. <laughs> yeah, you have to right click it. All right. Can I pick up this? No. So we're going to go move these over here onto the copper stuff so we can, I'm guessing, make copper wire from the copper ingots that we're going to need. And then, oh, we have another water bottle. That's good. Always good things. So let's get this guy placed. We'll have it like this so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to place that there. And then this guy is going to just go right onto the back of this. Kind of clicks in. Fantastic. Turn on and turn on oh darn it oh i got batteries though okay so let's go ahead and insert a battery wait what oh there we go okay put two batteries on each of those and this should start making some copper it should that one's not making copper yet oh does it take two Drop two ores below. Oh, it takes two for every copper. Okay, and then crafting components, copper wire. All right, so we got one of those. Now, uh, storage manufacturing. So morph manufacturing stuff. Uh, We need circuit board. What does a circuit board take? Steel, copper, and screws. Oh, that's not bad. That's not too bad. So I think the first order of business is going to be getting both of these things online so we don't have to cut, we, like keep going back and forth on these. So I'm going to try to save up all the steel that I can or all the... Uh, yeah, all the steel so I can make the stuff to get at least another auto miner. Because if if it's if I can just auto mine and I can just collect it and I can just bring it over here manually and drop it in, that's fine with me. But oh, you know what? That means we could have one auto one smelter doing two things, but they're not even close. Like these aren't even close to like together there. I wonder if there's other deposits that are like semi close if there's like a a copper and an iron right next to each other oh i want to go out and explore so bad i'm scared that i'm gonna die we should we should just should we just do a quick lap let's just do a quick lap looks like it's about to be daytime anyways uh let's do it let's make a quick lap here actually let's go yeah we'll be fine Ooh, so right here there is a water deposit and it looks like two separate little iron node deals that's kind of cool oh there's a cave right here hold on let's let's pop oh is that a potato yeah, we got some potatoes. I will take that. We'll harvest the wheat. Why not? What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing back here. And okay, nothing back here. All right. Whew. I was a little scared. I mean, this would be a good little bunker place to hide. I'm trying to make my way over to this building. Now, it's probably going to be a bad idea. We're probably not going to run straight in there. Or we might because I like to do, you know, bad ideas like that. Have you seen the Seven Days to Die series? I <laughs> it's not. Anyway, let's go check it out. Nice little canyon over here. Look at all those wind turbines. I wonder if you can go over there and harness the power of the wind. That'd be so nice. We won't have to worry about batteries. Nah, I bet you still have to worry about batteries. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, Odyssey? Oh, there's a copper and there's an iron right next to each other. Oh, there's a little outhouse over here. Let's go check this out. I will happily farm all of these goodies. Okay, hold on. What's this? What's the sign say? Oh, coming soon. Okay, so we can't go over there. That's fine. What's this little house have in it? Is it something good? It's got to be something good, right? It's got to have a robot in it. Oh, no, nope, nothing. <laughs> no, nothing in the house. Okay. All right. I mean, it's a thing. Let's go check out Odyssey. All right. So I am a little, uh, a little worried about going in here. It's big and fancy. It looks super nice. There's a robot boy. Let's see. Is there any other way in? I bet you that robot is guarding the door. Bet you anything it is. You know, I actually don't see a way in. Oh, he totally left. He totally left. I don't think there's a way in right now. This might be a work in progress still, too. It probably is. My guess is that there's going to be a building in there, and you're going to be able to uh, 
to go in here and like loot it and stuff. But I don't see... I don't see any kind of door right now. Unless maybe you have to go from the top? I don't know. Oof. Oofed. I really want to go check out all this stuff, but it's like super far away. I say we cross the bridge, check out that little lighthouse farm home deal, and go back to our base. Kind of see what we got going on, see if we can't make a uh, another mine. Oh, there's a lighthouse right there. This is like a farmhouse. That's like an actual hot lighthouse. I wonder if there's an ocean over there. Oh, it's awfully dark. Looks like maybe this is like a, a post-apocalyptic world. AI took over and they decided to destroy humanity. That's what's happening. That is exactly what's happening. This is why you don't mess with AI, boys and girls. Don't do it. So there's definitely a little farm home. Another one of these guys, which means... There should be batteries in here. Yes, indeed. I will take those. Thank you so much. What do we have in here? Oh, it's like a little, uh, it's a little church place. All right. Is there, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I mean, I guess you could call this home too, if you wanted to. You can make like a base place out of this. Looks like there's another Odyssey over there. Oh, there is water. Oh, that's super cool. I want to go, let's go look at the wind turbines real quick. I haven't found blueberries yet. I was actually thinking that would be a blueberry place, but it's not. Oh! <gasps> I found blueberries we can make muffins now it's wonderful i know all right let's see i'm trying to see like i'm trying to scope out things and see maybe where the uh the best place to actually build a base is going to be because maybe that little starter area oh there's a robot right there he's on the lookout he's on parole all right you know what i think we're going to look at the wind turbines later okay we got iron there nothing here nothing here all right let's let's make it way let's make our way back to our house Holy far away. It looks like it's super far away. <laughs> let's check on our smelter deal and let's grab all of our copper. Holy copper. Yes, please. I will take all of that. Okay. So we should be able to build ourselves at least one more miner. Not super worried about the for, for the like the forge of the furnace right now. Um, I don't know if you can throw multiple things into one. I would actually see why not. Use to smell iron and copper or into steel and copper ingots. I mean, I wouldn't see why we can't make multiples of those, but uh, another auto miner. So we need one thing of screws. We need two copper wire. Okay, so let's grab another copper wire. We need some screws and we actually need what? A circuit board. Okay, and we need, oh, a small screen. Small screen. Okay, let's make a thing of screws. Small screen, storage manufacturing. Uh, One thing of screws and some copper wire. Okay, one thing of screws and some copper wire. Storage manufacturing. Auto miner, we've done it. My gosh, look at that. Would you, would you just look at that? So let's go get this guy thrown up over here. So there is one spot that I saw that has copper and iron semi close to each other. So we might play with that um, in the future. Let's go and throw some batteries in here. Turn that bad boy on. Fantastic. Uh, oh, what do we need for a storage box? Let's make one of those. All right. And then let's put the batteries in our inventory. And then we'll pick up these two and then let's throw a storage box right there. And it should poop it out right into, right into this guy. Let's, is it poop, is it gonna poop it out? Oh, <gasps> <laughs> I did indeed. All right, cool. And then I should be able to throw those in there as well. Oh, this is this is magnificent. This is magnificent. Mm, maybe I should do that with these bars over here too, so they're not just like pooping out on the ground. I feel like I should have one next to everything. Oh, hey, look it. We got some glass. That's amazing. I like this. This is cool. This is fun. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's make another storage box. Uh, I need two things of screws. One, two. Storage. One of those. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and put this like right there. And then when we come over here and throw iron in here. Oh, let's see if we can do that. Actually, let's see if we can throw the raw iron in with the copper and if it can handle both of them at the same time. I don't know. Might be asking a little much. All right, let's do it. Let's throw them in here. All of those smelting iron, smelting iron. Will it automatically switch over to copper? Oh, there's only one copper in there right now, so. And it looks like it's ready. Wait, I put in six. Oh, you know what? Is it two? It probably requires two of, yep, it probably requires two. Awesome. 
So we now have, yes, we have iron in. Oh my goodness, people. This is amazing. We've got a whole bunch of manufacturing stuff going on. I like it. I like it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as well, because that is going to end this first little episode. Now, I think we could probably get two or three, maybe two, two or three more episodes out of this. So leave a comment down below. Are you guys curious? Are you interested? Links down below as well. And again, this is a very, very early access. Um, I'm sure there's going to be lots of expansion, lots of things to come. I want to go check out those wind turbines like way over there. But this is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. We need to get our bases like fortifications up too. So we'll probably work on that in the next one. So we can get like a tunnel of death. That way, every time the robots come in, they get like sliced or something, you know, like taken care of. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Maybe do you get... Oh, was that the first night? So we only had two and then maybe there'll be like three and four. Oh my gosh, that could be terrible. <laughs> but uh, yes, thank you guys for coming out here. You have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next episode.